Biotosaurus. Biotosaurus is a genus of sauropod dinosaur from the early Cretaceous epoch, late Bariasian to Phalanginian stages, between 145 and 132.9 million years ago, of northern Patagonia, Argentina. It was first described in 2019 based on a single specimen found in 2010 that includes a largely complete skull and parts of the neck. The only species is Biotosaurus pronuspinax. The genus is classified as a member of the Dicreosauridae, a group of relatively small and short-necked sauropods. Biotosaurus sported bifurcated, extremely elongated neural spines extending from the neck. Similarly elongated spines are known from the closely related and more completely known Amargosaurus. Various possible functions have been proposed for these spines in Amargosaurus, with the 2019 description of Biotosaurus suggesting that they could have served as passive defense against predators in both genera. The skull was slender and equipped with around 48 teeth that were pencil-shaped and restricted to the front of the jaws. The eye openings of Biotosaurus were exposed in top view, possibly allowing the animal to look forwards while feeding. Biotosaurus was discovered in sedimentary rocks of the Bajada Colorado Formation, which were deposited by braided rivers. It shared its environment with other dinosaurs including the sauropod line couple and different theropods. Discovery and Naming the only specimen of the dinosaur genus Biotosaurus was excavated in 2010 by paleontologists of the Conocet, National Scientific and Technical Research Council, the science agency of the Argentinian government. The specimen was discovered in the Bajada Colorado locality, 40 kilometers, 25 miles, south of the town of Picon Lufu, near the western bank of the Lime River, in Patagonia. The site is part of the Bajada Colorado Formation a succession of sedimentary rocks in the Nucane Basin that is dated to the late Bariasian to Valanginian stages of the early Cretaceous, tilde 145 to 132.9 million years ago. The specimen, of which only some teeth were initially exposed, was found by Argentinian paleontologist Pablo Gallina. As fossils in this area are often fragile, the specimen was not excavated bone by bone in the field, but extracted as a single large block of rock and bone, before extraction. The block had been wrapped in plaster for protection. The block was prepared in a laboratory, revealing most of the skull as well as the first two and probably the fifth neck vertebrae. The specimen is now curated by the Museo Municipal Ernesto Bachman in Villa El Chacan, Neucane Province, under the specimen number MMCHPV75. The specimen was formally described as the holotype of a new genus and species, Biotosaurus pronuspinax, by Gallina and colleagues in 2019. The generic name is derived from the Spanish word Bajada, downhill, in reference to the Bajada Colorado locality, and the Greek source, lizard. The specific name is derived from the Latin pronus, bent over forward, and the Greek spinax, spine, referring to the long and forward curved neural spines, spinous processes, of the neck. Because of the spectacular spines, the discovery of Biotosaurus was widely reported on by international news media. Description Biotosaurus is classified as a member of the Dicreosauridae, a family of sauropod dinosaurs. As with all sauropods, Dicreosaurids were large, four-legged herbivores with a long neck and tail and a relatively tiny head. They were, however, small in comparison with most other sauropods, roughly reaching the size of present-day Asian elephants, and their neck was comparatively short. Long bifurcated neural spines were a common feature of the group although only extremely elongated in Biotosaurus and the closely related Amargosaurus. Skull The preserved skull includes the pterygoid bones of the palate and most of the skull roof and brain case, as well as the lower jaws and parts of the upper jaws. As of 2019, it is the most complete skull of a Dicreosaurid known. The middle section of the skull is not preserved. Its overall build was gracile, slender. All bones that surround the orbit, eye opening, are preserved, except for the ugal bone, which would have formed the lower margin of the opening. The lacrimal bone, which formed the front margin of the orbit, had a straight ridge on its upper half that was similar to that of Dicreosaurus. It was pierced by a small foramen, opening, unlike the larger foramen seen in Dicreosaurus. The upper front corner of the orbit was formed by the prefrontal bone. The contribution of the prefrontal to the orbit was, however, smaller than in Dicreosaurus and Amargosaurus. The bone was also smaller and less robust than in the latter genera. The upper rim of the orbit was formed by the frontal, which was fused to the parietal bone behind, together, these bones formed most of the rear part of the skull roof. In top view, the side margin of the frontal was S-shaped and narrowed from back to front. As a result, the eye openings were visible in top view of the skull, unlike in related genera except Ling Wong. At the back, 
The frontal also formed a small part of the supertemporal fenestra, a major opening on the rear part of the skull roof. The rear margin of the orbit was formed by the postorbital bone. Typically in dinosaurs, this bone featured a rearwards extending process, the posterior process. In Biotosaurus, Dicreosaurus, and Amargosaurus, this process was reduced and indistinct. The downward projecting process of the squamosal, a bone forming the upper rear corner of the skull, was well developed. This suggests that it was connected to the quadratigal bone at the lower rear edge of the skull, although the articulation itself is not preserved. This probable articulation is absent in diplodocids, and has not previously been documented in dicreosaurids. Behind the orbit and framed by the squamosal, postorbital, quadratigal, and utile was the lateral temporal fenestra, another major skull opening. In Biotosaurus, this opening was narrow and obliquely oriented. The quadratigal formed an obtuse angle that framed the lower rear part of the lateral temporal fenestra, different from the condition seen in diplodocids. The brain case is mostly hidden from view by overlaying bones, with only the occipital region, rear part, being exposed. Dot the uppermost bone of the occipital region is the supraoccipital, which in Biotosaurus was completely fused to the exoccipital episodic bone below and featured a distinct and narrow longitudinal ridge, the sagittal nuchal crest. The posttemporal fenestrae, a pair of openings between the parietal and the occipital region, were extended medially, towards the midplane of the skull, which is an autopomorphy of Biotosaurus, a unique feature not found in closely related genera. The occipital condyle, which articulated with the first vertebra of the neck, was wider than it was high. Its rear surface was not wider than its neck, which was different from Amargosaurus and Dicreosaurus. The basis phenoid, which formed part of the underside of the brain case, had a pair of gracile bony extensions, the basipterygoid processes, which extended forwards and downwards to articulate with the pterygoid of the palate, bracing the brain case against the latter. An autopomorphy of the genus, these processes were longer and slenderer than in Dicreosaurus and Amargosaurus, being more than six times long than wide. Dot the left and right pterygoids, the only elements preserved of the palate, featured a smooth crest that received the basipterygoid processes. The teeth were restricted to the front parts of the jaws and were pencil-shaped, with their narrow crowns nearly straight or slightly curved inwards. Of the upper jaw, only the front section of the left maxilla, the largest bone of the upper jaw, is preserved. It preserves eight alveoli, tooth sockets, a count similar to Suuwasia, but less than in Dicreosaurus, which had 12 teeth in each maxilla. A seemingly complete tooth row of 24 teeth was found close to, but separated from, the left maxilla. This count corresponds to the tooth count of the lower jaw, where the teeth are still anchored within the left and right dentaries, the only tooth-bearing bones of the lower jaw. Biotosaurus thus likely had 48 teeth in total. The dentary was slender, similar to Suuwasia but unlike the deep dentary of Dicreosaurus. In top view, the dentaries do not form the box-shaped snout seen in diplodocids, but are more rounded with a J-shaped curvature, as is typical for Dicreosaurids. Dot the front of the dentary had a hook-like chin projecting downwards, as seen in other flagellocaudatans, the group to which Dicreosaurids and diplodocids belong. In the hind part of the lower jaw, the angular bone was very elongated and longer than the surangular bone, unlike in diplodocids. Neck vertebrae. Both proatlases, small, triangular bones located between the first neck vertebra and the skull, were found in articulation with the skull. Of the first neck vertebra, the atlas, only the upper elements, the atlantal neuropophyses, are preserved. These were triangular and wing-like in Biotosaurus. The second neck vertebra, the axis, is nearly complete. As in Dicreosaurus, it was twice as high as long, while its centrum, or vertebral body, was twice as long as high. The dipophyses, sidewards projecting processes, were small and directed backwards as in Suuwasia rather than downwards as in Dicreosaurus and Amargosaurus. The neural spine of the axis was narrow and not bifurcated, it differed from other sauropods in being vertically oriented, an autopomorphy of the genus, triangular in cross-section, and tapering towards its apex. Dot. Only a single vertebra is known from the remainder of the neck. This vertebra sported the most prominent feature of the genus, an extremely elongated neural spine that was deeply bifurcated into a left and right rod-like element. This neural spine measures 58 centimeters, 1 foot 11 in, in length and made the vertebra four times taller than long. Among sauropods, it was only comparable to those of the related Amargosaurus, but, unlike in the latter, the spine was not directed backwards but curved toward the front. The bases of the rod-like elements were triangular and compressed sideways, their cross-section along most of their length was egg-shaped. 
Their tips broaden slightly, unlike the acute tips in Amargosaurus. In Amargosaurus, the spines show striations on their surface that indicate that a keratin porn, sheath was present in life. Although similar striations cannot be observed on the spines of Bionosaurus due to poor preservation, Gaena and colleagues found it likely that they were covered by a horny sheath as well. The exact position of the single preserved vertebra in the neck is unclear, however. Its morphology is comparable to the fifth neck vertebra of Diacreosaurus, the probable sixth of Brachytrachylopan, and the seventh of Amargosaurus. Based on these comparisons, it was tentatively described as the fifth neck vertebra. The centrum of this vertebra was twice as long as tall and narrowed into a longitudinal keel on the underside. This keel was broader and concave in other Dicreosaurids. Classification Dicreosaurids are one of the three principal families comprising the Diplodocoidea, a major subdivision of sauropod dinosaurs. Within Diplodocoidea, Dicreosaurids form the sister group of the Diplodocidae, while the third family, the Rebichisauridae, is more distantly related. Dicreosaurids and Diplodocids are united within the group Flagellicaudata, which is named after the whip-like tails characteristic for the group. The number of genera classified within Dicreosaurida varies between studies. Gaena and colleagues, in their 2019 description of Biotosaurus, recognize seven additional genera. The earliest is Lingwolong from the late early to early middle Jurassic of China, while three genera are known from the late Jurassic, Brachytrachylopan from Argentina, Suuwasia from the United States, and the eponymous Dicreosaurus from Tanzania. Early Cretaceous Dicreosaurids include Biotosaurus as well as Amargotitanes, Pilmatria, and Amargosaurus, all from Argentina. An unnamed specimen from the Itapacura Formation of Brazil indicates that the group persisted at least until the end of the early Cretaceous. In their phylogenetic analysis, Gaena and colleagues recovered Biotosaurus as an intermediate member of Diacreosauridae, more derived, more recently diverging from a common ancestor, than Suuwasia and Lingwolong, but less so than Pilmatria, Amargosaurus, Diacreosaurus, and Brachytrachylopan. The referral of Biotosaurus to the Dicreosauridae was supported by six synapromorphies, anatomical features distinguishing the group from related taxa. A subsequent analysis by John Whitlock and Wilson Mantilla, in 2020, found Biotosaurus to be the most basal member of a clade that also contains Lingwolong in the unnamed North American taxon MOR 592. In this analysis, Biotosaurus therefore occupies a slightly more basal position within Dicreosauridae than indicated by Gaena and colleagues. In addition to the genera recognized by the latter study, Whitlock and colleagues found Caetacase and Smygnosaurus to be basal members of Diacreosauridae. Biotosaurus itself can be differentiated from other Diacreosaurids by a unique combination of features, which includes four autopomorphies, a medially extended post-temporal fenestra, slender and long basipterygoid processes, vertically oriented neural spines of second neck vertebra, and elongated, forward curved neural spines in the neck. Paleobiology function of neural spines. Elongated and deeply bifurcated neural spines were common in Dicreosaurids. In Dicreosaurus and Brachytrachylopan, they were inclined toward the front but remained much shorter than in Biotosaurus. Not only the spines of Amargosaurus were similarly elongated. The spines of Amargosaurus led to much speculation about their possible life appearance and function. As hypothesized by separate authors, they could have supported a sail or horny sheaths, and could have been used for display, defense, or thermoregulation. Daniela Schwartz and colleagues, in 2007, found that the double row formed by the bifurcated neural spines along the spine of Diacreosaurids would have enclosed an air sac, the so-called supervertebral diverticulum, that would have been connected to the lungs as part of the respiratory system. In Diacreosaurus, this air sac would have occupied the entire space between the left and right parts of the spines, while it would have been restricted to the lower third of the spines in Amargosaurus. The upper two-thirds would likely have been covered by a horny sheath, as is indicated by longitudinal striations on their surface. Gaena and colleagues, in 2019, consider this the most reasonable interpretation that may likewise be applied to Biotosaurus. These researchers further argued that horn is more resistant to impact-related fractures than bone, and that a horny sheath would therefore have protected the delicate spines from damage. Fracturing of the spines might have been a critical threat, as the bases of the spines roof the spinal cord. The protection of the sheath would have been further enhanced if it would have extended past its bony core. Schwartz and colleagues reconstructed Amargosaurus with horny sheaths that did not reach far beyond their bony core, as is the case for most modern reptiles. 
In some modern even toed ungulates, however, the horny sheath can be double the length of the horn core, and the exquisitely preserved Ankylosaur boreal apelto was found with horny sheaths that extended the length of its spines by 25%, demonstrating that substantial horny extensions may occur in dinosaurs as well. Gaena and colleagues speculated that the spines of Amargosaurus and Biotosaurus might have been more than 50% longer than indicated by their bony core. Their bending would have further increased their resistance, as is the case in modern bighorn sheep. Gaena and colleagues further speculated that the spines in both Amargosaurus and Biotosaurus might have been used for defense. Due to its forward bend, the bifurcated neural spine of the supposed fifth neck vertebra would have reached past the head, and could therefore have been a barrier to predators. Similar, even larger spikes were postulated for the following neck vertebrae. Moderate damage would result in the breakoff of the horny tips, leaving the bony spine intact. Amargosaurus lived around 15 million years later than Biotosaurus, indicating that elongated neural spines were a long-lasting defense strategy. Senses and Feeding The orientation of the semicircular canals, ring-like structures in the inner ear that house the sense of balance, have been used to reconstruct habitual head postures in some dinosaurs and other extinct animals, although the reliability of this method has been repeatedly questioned. Paleontologist Paulina Curabajal Carbaido, in 2015, inferred that Amargosaurus would have had its snout facing downwards. Assuming a similar head orientation in Biotosaurus, Gaena and colleagues hypothesized that the exposure of the eye openings in top view might have allowed the animal to look forward while feeding, while the sight of most other sauropods was limited to the sides. These researchers further speculated that this feature could have allowed for stereoscopic vision. Such stereoscopic vision would only have come into effect when the snout was downturned. In a 2019 conference abstract reporting ongoing research, J.P. Gardiers and colleagues estimated how frequently teeth are shed and replaced, tooth replacement rate, as well as the time required for teeth to form, tooth formation time, in Biotosaurus. Such information can be derived by counting and measuring daily growth lines seen in cross-sections of teeth, and may help to reconstruct feeding habits in extinct animals where direct observation is not possible. Gardiers and colleagues estimated that teeth were replaced at an average of 35.75 days in the maxilla, and that formation time was between 158 and 96 days in the maxilla, 176 and 144 days in the premaxilla, and between 138 and 77 days in the dentary. These values are similar to those found in other diplodocoids. Paleo environment. Biotosaurus was recovered from the Bajada Colorado Formation, a geological formation of the Mendoza group that is exposed in northern Patagonia. The formation is composed of red and green brown sandstones and conglomerates of fine to coarse grain sized together with bands of reddish claystones and light brown siltstones. These sediments were mostly deposited by braided rivers, as is evident by well preserved river channels with cross bedding. Paleosols are present in the formation. The Bajada Colorado formation overlays the Quintuco and Pecan Lufu formations. At its top, it is separated from the overlying Agrio formation by an unconformity, sedimentation hiatus. Biotosaurus stems from the Bajada Colorado locality, the type locality of the formation. The locality yielded the remains of another sauropod, the Diplodocid line Cupolaticauda, as well as of several species of theropod that can be ascribed to basal tetanurian possibly to abelosauroids and deinonychosaurians.